it's now day 49 and there's two herds there running long and there's the camera for green planet and they've just come from near it so it obviously is acting as a beacon for them to um, to find the tasty shoots that's coming up from the new the new wheat that's coming so we're just on this field of spring wheat now we'll put in 235 litres of fertiliser on to the hectare. That top dial should be telling you now. Just flickering a bit because we're going up down the hill. Um, and that will give us 50 kilograms of uh, nitrogen and 50 kilograms of sulphur. Because the product we're putting on at the moment is 17% sulphur and 17% nitrogen. So it's as liquid form, so it won't it won't just sit there doing nothing. It should go straight into the soil, and start working straight away. We're not going to wait for any rain to wash it in, which is often a problem. So this is the miss with the drill, where the crops a little bit more behind. And like I say, for some reason the hers seem to be liking that bit. In fact, you can see one of them just there now. See it running close to two. one by the ditch as well. There we go. So. Really nice to see. I saw a few as I came round the field that jumped across the ditch as well. So there's, there's at least six, probably maybe on this this block here. It's a 16 hectare block, so I'm going to lift my booms up now so I don't smash the camera. So there we go. There's the, there's the camera there. Oh, just missed the solar panel on it. Oh, got a bit more. There we go. So maybe the letter for the day today should be N for nitrogen. Fertilizer. So I've just had to do a little emergency stop for this little creature here. Wherever it's gone. See it? Where is it hiding? There we go. Peewit chick, the wheat's so thick it can't, it can't climb through the rows. See it? There we go. It's trying to struggle through the rows. They're like, like hedges the rows of corn because it's so, looks so good. There it is. There we go. So you can see it's mum. You can hear it's mum somewhere going, making that funny noise. It was up in the sky a minute ago. But it was running down, running down what we call the tram line. So I had to stop really quickly. So I'll have a big strike now when it's set back off again. But um, great to see. So apparently, you know, this is what we call industrial farming. Or well, people call it industrial farming and they think there's none, no wildlife left, but clearly there is. It, it lives perfectly amongst us. Just in the workshop now using this, which is a, basically a laser cutter or a plasma cutter. And it fires a laser beam through the steel. See what I've just cut there? It's a bit wonky because I did it freehand. So we're just putting a new bottom in this skip. So keeping the yard tidy. So a friend of mine gave it me because it's an old one, so it had no floor in it. So we'll put a sheet of steel. Got another one there, and then we're gonna put a bottom in it and put box section underneath it so we can carry it with the with the tele on let's keep the yard tidy. So this is me now cutting some box section only four milli thick but the plasma cutter itself will actually cut it up to 32 millimeters thick just come looking at the uh, wildflower patch we've put in around the edge of the field you can see little lines now so it's obviously just coming up which is good so once the oil seed rapes stop flowering in a few weeks hopefully some of this will be up and be starting to flower and uh, the bees and pollinators can feed off that the beans will also start flowering as well in a few weeks so there should be plenty for the bees to go at and hopefully the guy will be bringing his beehives up soon as well so that's about all for today i'll see you all tomorrow